should. Let's cook up something really good. Quarantine kitchen and stop and look and listen in. You know what I am in the mood for warm and yummy comfort food. kitchens and we're going to show you some three really good comfort recipes two for Pesach and one for Motze Pesach. The first one I'm going to show you is how to make your own hot chocolate. Now you probably have a hot chocolate packet in your house at home and if you look at the back of that packet you're going to see about 50 ingredients in there and that's like kind of gross because after I have that kind of hot chocolate, it leaves like a weird film on my mouth and I, I just don't like it. So if you're into natural stuff and you just want to have like simple pure ingredients, then this is the way that we do it. So, Debbie has her cup and I have my cup. Come on closer. I make the best hot chocolate. This is, oh yeah, Shaq, you make the best hot chocolate. This is just 100% cocoa. There's nothing in it. It's from the baking section. It doesn't have sugar, nothing. So you take a, a tablespoon of that. See? About a tablespoon and you put it in. And Revy likes hers. Also, a tablespoon of that. You come close enough mm -hmm. so people see. Okay, and this here is just good old organic sugar. And you put about the same amount as you did for the Hot cocoa. Show them inside the cup, man. Okay. And then I like Truvia, which is natural sweetener that's from a tree. Okay, and then you take it over here to the hot water. Come in close, man. Okay, but there's the thing called Zoom, mother. You fill it up I don't to about, You fill it up to about three quarters of the way. super fancier, you can put uh, syrup. chocolate syrup on top. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And here's another recipe for Pesach. When there's nothing in the house, there's always potatoes. So you make french fries. And this is how we do it. Okay, so you heat up your pan on high, and then you pour about, I don't know, half an inch of uh, oil in there. So, now, why, why is my oil coming from this, like, container? That's because I've used this oil before for french fries, because that's a lot of oil, and there's no need to, <laughs> there's no need to, uh, you know, throw that away every time. I think maybe a doctor might say it's like bad health-wise, but I'm not really sure. So we do it and we're healthy. Thank God, we're fine. So there's a little bit of bits in there from previous um, potatoes. So if that grosses you out, then just take them out, but it won't make a difference to how it tastes. So we're gonna let that warm up. We could even put a cover on it.
And while that's warming up, we're gonna cut potatoes. So have a seat and we'll cut potatoes. I'll show you how I cut potatoes. Uh, I like to slice it this way. I like to do them pretty thin, then it tastes better. Oh, what are you gonna do when you cut potatoes? What are you gonna do when you cut potatoes? What are you gonna do when you cut potatoes early in the morning? <laughs> I like to do them pretty thin. Cut them thin when you cut potatoes, cut them thin when you cut potatoes, cut them thin when you cut potatoes early in the morning. Right, I think it's early in the morning. Whoa! What are you gonna do when you cut potatoes? What are you gonna do when you cut potatoes? What are you gonna do when you cut potatoes early in the morning? Um, you know what I really like to see? is what the other head staff at Hampton make for Pesach. It would be really fun if other staff people could make quarantine kitchens of their own episodes, live or recorded. If you notice, I don't bother to peel my potatoes. That's for two reasons. Reason one, laziness. Reason two, I actually like the taste of skin and people say that there are like nutrients in the skin. I don't know if that's true or not, but I actually like them. And, but for Pesach, some people only use peeled, peeled fruits and vegetables. So. Why? What heifer your minhag is. What? Why? Mm. Because they're worried that maybe chametz got attached to the outside? I think, I don't know. I don't, it's not my minhag, so I don't really know. Be careful, don't cut your fingers. Be careful, don't cut your fingers. Be careful, don't cut your fingers early in the morning. Something about potatoes. You got to start speaking in Irish accents when you cut potatoes. During Pesach, we all turn a stick Irish because we eat so many potatoes. The Earl is probably all heated up by now. Let's check it out. I won't show you the spit test because I don't want to gross anybody out, but if you really want to make sure your oil is hot enough, you spit on it. But I'll spare you that during the uh, COVID-19 outbreak. Is it 19? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Careful. Here, I'll just push them in. But you gotta step back because you don't want to get this is really dangerous, actually. You should only let your mother or father do this. And since I am a mother, I can do it. Make sure everything's covered with oil in there. And then you wait. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna use my slotted spatula to transfer them to this plate that I Lined with a piece of paper towel. I'm gonna do that over and over again so that the oil can drain off the fries. Because who wants oily fries? Notice how I'm covering my hand with my sweatshirt because it's pretty hot. All right, just gonna let that cool off. I'm gonna drain the top, the top layer more. And then Salt generously to taste, however much salt you like on there. And then when they're not that hot, try them. And they're totally delicious. Okay, so that's the second piece of recipe that I've showed you. And then next we'll do a really great recipe for Mozi Pesach. Okay, you know how Mozi Pesach Everyone's rushing to get pizza. And what if you don't feel like waiting on the line until one in the morning? Or what if there's no pizza left? Or what if you're in a place where they have kosher pizza? So right now, Shefa is gonna show you an incredible recipe for pancakes. I did not grow up from, and so I have eaten at IHOP. These pancakes taste like IHOP. So if you were ever curious what IHOP tastes like, you will now know. So Mozi Pesach, you could Go to the kosher store and buy flour and you can make your own IHOP pancakes that are incredible. 
Okay, so here's my associate and daughter and future TC. T, TC, T, T, TC. Chef of Greenspan showing you how to make fluffy pancakes from Chef. So we decided to double this because we have a big family. So Chef is putting how much? Three, three cups. cups. Three cups of flour and six tablespoons of confectionery sugar. Shafa, what if I don't have any confectionery sugar? Can Thank I you. use regular? Yes. Mm. Oh. Four teaspoons baking powder. Ooh, look how Shafa uses a knife to make each teaspoon perfectly flat. A teaspoon of salt. Stir together the dry ingredients. Now in a bowl, we're adding all the wet ingredients. This is two and a half cups of milk or rice milk. Or soy milk or almond um, milk. We're gonna melt eight tablespoons of butter. Add the melted butter to the milk. How much vanilla? A teaspoon. That's doubled? Yep. What are you doing now, Chef? I'm um, separating the egg yolk for the egg whites. Uh huh. And also checking it at the same time? Yep. Ooh, you're so kosher. Um, does your mother like it when you leave eggshells on the counter? No. Oh, so what would possibly be the solution to that? <laughs> Throw in the garbage. Like, How you do that? Shafa, I'm whisking all the wet ingredients. This is a real whisk, but we used that immersion blender thing, and that worked great too. Now we need six egg whites, and Shafa already has two egg whites from the egg yolks that she separated out from before, and she's gonna do four more, and this time she's done the very smart move of removing the garbage can close to her so that she can immediately throw away the eggshells and not annoy her mother. Since we're doubling the recipe, we're doing a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And now we have to, whisk we're, we're gonna whisk it, or in our case, use the immersion blender for two minutes. mixing our wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Okay, and now we're going to add the egg yolk. A third of it? Yeah. Like. Okay. And you fold it in. I mean fold it. <laughs> you can't fold that. <laughs> okay, whatever. We fold it. And then just put the rest in. Okay. Will somebody tell us that we didn't fold? <laughs> they just mean like slowly put it in. Will we get in trouble? If we don't? I like to do things by the book. Is that our batter? Is that it? Mm -hmm. We're all done? Mm -hmm. And now we... Ready to cook. Ready to cook. Ooh. What do we cook in? Oil or butter? Um, they said to use... Oh, okay. Cooking but look, spray. our pan from before... It's full of butter anyway. Still has butter in it. So why don't we use that to start? Yeah. Okay, great. Chef has decided to transfer her batter mixing cup, measuring cup, so that she can pour better into the mason jar tops. Mmm, so perfect. Oh, 
Oh, you only turn it on after? We forgot. <laughs> oh, we, I see. So it's as if it was on before. Just do that, Mother. Oh. Ooh. Mother Power. Mother power. <laughs> Slide them onto the plate. And then very carefully remove the mason jar covers. Is that what the recipe really said to do? They said like rings. I don't know. Mm. Yum, yum. Baruch atah Adonai Limachon, Amen. That's food. How was it? Yum, yum. say Pesach. This is it. <laughs> and everybody comes for some. Oh, what? Mm. Oh. Babe, you could have extra. We're making tons more. No. Boaz, look. There's no. tons more. No. Look. No, it's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Wait. And We're that is yummy. More. Yummy pancakes. Hooray! Boaz gets his own. I mean, hooray! Good job, Shafa. Keep that longer than we should. Let's keep up something really good. Thank mm -hmm. you.